Hello everybody and welcome back to our Adventure Day quest calendar from Sundial Games 2024's The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Now, before we get into today, I just want to let you all know that you can catch us live if you like this kind of stuff. We do stream D&D 5th edition every Wednesday at 8 p.m. and every other Sunday also at 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, uh, Wednesday is where we play in a homebrew of Sword Coast and as a character. And then on Sunday, we actually DM the licensed module Tomb of Annihilation. So if you like more of this kind of stuff and you want direct chat interaction, come check us out on Twitch, Parkless on Twitch TV every Wednesday and every other Sunday. Now, yesterday uh, for the quest calendar, it got kind of crazy. Uh, let's see, the weather changed abruptly, and then at some point we got jumped by an attacker. So, you know, check that out. Yesterday's link should be up in the corner above somewhere. Um, also, uh, once again, that I am debating on whether I want to do one video that has every day that's edited, uh, or it could be raw, actually. It could be edited or raw. Let me know down below in the comments if you like the idea of a weekly video. Uh, and if you would rather see it raw, uncut, kind of like how these are now, or if you kind of want to see it edited and to the point just to get through all the days. So yeah, or either that, or, uh, if you like it as it is and you want them daily, that's fine too. So yeah, make sure you like it as it helps our small channel reach out to more people. So more people can see this awesome quest calendar. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe as it will let you know when more of these videos come out as you get a next little notification. But let's stop delaying and get to today, which I believe is Thursday, March 14th. Oh man, looks like, okay, we got some sewers. Finding shelter from the storm in the sewers. You can navigate your way closer to the castle. Hopefully you can do so with some amount of safety. So you start at X and you have one, two, three, four. Uh, four looks like it's the end. So we'll probably do one, three, two, four. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. <clears throat> let's get to it. Area one, a narrow passage is blocked by a pile of debris and waste. You must spend time time to remove the obstruction. D20 plus strength. All right, what party member haven't we killed off yet? All right, the strength is gone, so we're not going to do that. All right, D20 plus strength reminder athlete. That's a five. Plus two is seven. If the result is ten or less, uh, your efforts only result in making the debris more wedged in place. Your exertions attract the attention of a sentient slime. Cornered and unable to progress, you face a daunting battle against a caustic goop. Remember for combat is you roll your a d20 plus your attack. If your attack is higher than the defense you equal to or higher than the defense you hit. If you hit, roll damage. If your damage is equal to or higher than their health, then you defeat them. If you miss or you did not defeat them, roll a d20 plus defense. And uh, if you are greater than their attack, then you take the lower damage. Otherwise, you take full damage. All right, D20, 19. Yeah, I'd say we hit. That's a 22 to hit. Uh, health is four. We do D12 of damage. Uh, remember, damage is this, or the D12 is this soccer ball looking die. <laughs> yeah. That's a nine. Yeah, this slime gets obliterated. Um, and that's all that happens. Doesn't, we don't get anything from that, unfortunately, but, um, area two, no, area three. Amidst the filth and waste, you spot a small mound of debris that looks different from the rest. Curiosity compels you to investigate. D20 plus intellect reminder investigator. Uh, our intellect is not great. So we can do the cricket, try and get a heart of four or greater let's see what we can do go ahead and shuffle the deck real quick and then cut nope that is a three and not of hearts all right oh well, well at least we can kill off our cricket <clears throat> all right d20 plus intellect five minus one four um, if the result is 10 or less, you carelessly dig through the debris and unknowingly setting off a hidden trap. Sharp, a sharp spear shoots out from the pile. D20 plus dex reminder danger sense. All right. That's a natural one. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, instant fail, no matter what one point of damage, 
Yikes. We are not doing too good in these sewers that are supposed to be kind of safe. Oh, wait, no. Did I read the wrong thing? I read the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Wait, hidden trap. Yeah, the spear. Yeah, okay. It strikes you and causes a deep wound. Reduce your health by one. Okay, good. We got that. I jumped up to two, which is kind of the same thing. All right. Uh, area two. As you proceed deeper into the sewer, you encounter a section flooded with murky water. The water level is rising and the swift current threatens your safety. D20 plus dex. That's a two. I can reroll a dex, right? Uh, yeah, gust. Reroll a single dex. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, at least it's an eight. That's no better. That's ridiculous. All right. Uh, you underestimate the strength of the currents. The rushing water overwhelms you, knocking you off balance and pushing you under. You struggle to stay afloat. D20 plus con. Four. We're dead. Oh, man. Oh, well, con is five. No. Uh, ten or less. You struggle to surface in the wild currents. Reduce your health by one. Yeah, we're getting close. Um, We're going to go ahead and use a health potion. 1d4. Go ahead and use the health potion. Hopefully a four. That's a one. That's a one. That's a, that's a, yeah. That is a one. So, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. We're back up to four. Anyway, that'll do it for today. Hopefully we won't die tomorrow. I might use my other health potion tomorrow, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And thank you all for joining us. And as always, stay safe out there.